Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First, before we get started, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. It really does mean a lot to me. Y'all, this is a lot of good news here, but as in all videos, I'm sure there will be a lot of people that don't like it at all. You can give people the world and they will not be satisfied. Okay, Joe Biden outlined his plan and it's a two-part plan. The first part is going to be the American Rescue Plan, which contains a stimulus check. The second part will be coming out in February and that will be the Build Back Plan, which includes infrastructure and stuff like that. We're going to cover everything that's in these and the likelihood of them getting passed. Okay, the American Rescue Plan introduced by Joe Biden. You know, all the Trump supporters kept going on that it's spending way too much money. He's a socialist and all that kind of stuff. They said it's going to be three trillion dollars or more well, they're wrong once again. It's only $1.9 trillion. Okay, the third stimulus check will be for $1,400. You know, we've already got the $600 to make the $2,000. And we figured that's the way it was going to be. Adult dependents will get this check. That is very good because before they wasn't going to get it. Uh, right now, there's no talk about the kids, the dependents getting it, and the, uh, but, I mean, come on. We know the kids will be getting it, too. Uh, so, I'm thinking, it's not said yet, but I am thinking $1,400 for all adults, because he says per person. He didn't say just for adults. $1,400 for adults, $1,400 for adults. The child dependence and fourteen hundred dollars for the adult dependence is the way I read it. Mixed immigration. You know, before if uh, the breadwinner had uh, didn't have a social security number, if they had the paperwork where they was working legally but not paying in social security, they would not get the stimulus check. Well, now. The family, if the family has uh, all their paperwork done and everything, they will get the stimulus check. But before, the, nobody in the family would get it. Now just the person that's not, don't have a uh, social security number. So everybody will be getting it. That is a good thing. Unemployment boost will be for $400. This is above what the state has already given people on unemployment. And that will be until September. That's very good. 30 billion dollars will go to renters assistance. People can't pay their rent. This is 30 billion dollars to help you do this. Five billion dollars will go to utility bills assistance. That's very good. SNAP benefits will be extended until September. Child tax credit. Okay, it will be for $3,000 tax credit for all children. But if that child is under six years old, they will get an extra $600. Earned income credit. More people will qualify for, un, for earned income credit. This is very good. You see, you got to take into consideration the $1,400 is not all you're getting. You're getting all these credits too, so it's a good thing. Renters forbearance will be extended until September 30th. Mortgage forbearance will be extended until September the 30th. 
there will be more child care credits. So if you're working and you need to put your kids in child care, you will have credits to take care of that. Sick leave reimbursement. It will be reimbursed to the employer for up to 10 days. That That is meaning that if you're sick, don't go to work. Don't go to work and make everybody else sick. Call off. They can't fire you for that. Also, if a family member, a close family member, needs you to stay home and take care of them because they're sick, you're going to get sick leave pay up to 10 days, and the government will pay the employer back. There will be more aid for small businesses and this is not loans this is grants that don't have to be paid back there will be 350 billion for state and local governments this will go towards paying firefighters police officers ambulance drivers teachers stuff like that 170 billion will be going towards the schools this will make it safer for people to go back to school because they will have the money for ventilation systems and stuff like that. $70 billion will be going to vaccine distri distribution. He had a whole lot to say about vaccine, and we will get into that in just a minute. <clears throat> Minimum wage will be going up to $15 an hour. This is very good because people can't live on minimum wage. Student loan for bill forgiveness. He did not speak on that, but there is plenty of room for him to add it back in if he needs to. Okay, will this get passed by the House and the Senate? We don't know. We feel confident that it will get passed by the House, but the Senate is another story. I believe it would get passed, but if it don't, he can always use the Reconciliation Act. He's got nine times to use that in his presidency, and he could use that as this. And with the, with the Reconciliation Act, he only needs 51 votes. That would be very easy. He would get that in the House alone. So... Either way, this will be passed. Okay, let's talk about the uh, Build Back plan, the infrastructure. He will be building more jobs, more factories, creating more roads, and all of this kind of stuff will be creating more jobs. But that's the big picture. The, the most important thing right now is the first part, which is the American Rescue Plan. He said once again that the $600 that we got before, that's just a down payment on what's to come. One million shots is what he wants. He wants this vaccine to be in arms, not on a warehouse shelf. He says his goal is by his first 100 days to have 100 million shots in people's arms. He said so far getting the vaccine out to people has been a total failure. He's going to turn that around and get people vaccinated a lot faster. He said, once again, his biggest goal is to get money into the pockets of the American people as fast as possible. Food assistance. This will probably go through <clears throat> SNAP. And it sounds like they're talking about what the American Red Cross did here in my town when we had a bad flood a few years ago. I had a restaurant and they contacted me. They was going to give vouchers out to people for $10 a piece so they could go eat in my restaurant. I could not participate in that because at the time I didn't have the food to support something like that. But this sounds like the same thing that they're going to be doing. He said that this would get food to people that needs food and it would bring the restaurants back to 100% employment. So 
he's helping two different people with this. Now, when the Red Cross did it here, the vouchers were for $10 a piece. They told me to make a special menu with about three different meals on it and make the meals $10 a piece. There would be no refund for these if they didn't spend them. So this is a good thing if this happens. He talked about everything being made in America. He said, imagine everything made in America and by Americans. He said, it's time to stop talking about this and just get it done. He said, yes, it will be costly to do this. But he also said that not doing it will cost us dearly. He said, all companies will pay their share, their fair share of taxes without the loopholes that they have right now to hide behind. Y'all, I think he's talking about Amazon here. Uh, Amazon, as you know, is the biggest company in the United States. And would you know, they pay zero in taxes because of the loopholes. That is not right. It's not right for America. It's not right for you and me. We have to pay taxes on the money that we make, but they don't. I believe he's fixing to put a stop to that. Donald Trump wanted to do that, but he didn't do it. I think Joe Biden will get it done. Y'all, everything that Joe Biden said here, I agree with 100%. I know there's going to be out people out there that's going to, I'm sorry to say it, piss on what he said. But we have to give the man a chance. He is our next president. He will take office on the 20th, and we have to give him our support. Whether you like him or not, he will be your president. And we know from this past administration, the world is watching. I mean, do you want to make America the laughing stock that it has been for the past four years? I don't. I am proud of my country. I am not proud of my government. But I believe we're fixing to get a new administration that we can be proud of. It's going to be a lot of getting used to. It's going to be a lot of uncertainty, but I think the long haul, it will be for the better. Y'all, we will get out of this, and we're going to be better for it. We just have to keep our faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through this, and he will make us shine like a rose for enduring this. Jesus has got a plan, and we don't know what it is, but... I don't think it's going to be that much longer before he reveals what that plan is. Y'all, I love you all. Please watch the video that's popping up here now. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up. And just know I love you all. Until the next time, ciao.